today we're going to do a meditation and a little prayer on gratitude and being grateful. But before we do, I would like to talk to you a little bit about gratitude and what it is. I know what it isn't. It isn't just being thankful for our food and thankful for our home and thankful for our friends and thankful for our families. It is so, so, so much more than that. And I want to try to explain to you how I feel and what I believe that gratitude is. Because to me, gratitude is a lifestyle. Gratitude is how we live. We live in gratitude. We live in positive energy. If we go through our lives and we just say, oh, yep, I'm thankful for this, or, you know, once a year, oh, my goodness, it's November, so, you know, we we got to be thankful because, you know, it's Thanksgiving coming up. for your life. It's being grateful for the lessons you've learned in your life and knowing that even when we go through the hard times, and believe me, we've all been through some real hard times. There, there's there been times in my life where I've questioned what did I do to deserve this? And I think that everybody has. Everybody's got had those kind of experiences where we are not really sure what we did to deserve the bad things that keep happening to us. But but the, the reason I'm grateful for those is because those are the things that opened my eyes up to realizing what I had to do to change my direction or, or my route so that I could fix the things and I could um, maybe redo some things to make myself on a different path. So, you know, with that said, I mean, gratitude is a lifestyle. It really is. It's it's looking at things in a different light. It's realizing that no matter what happens in your life, whether it's something good or something bad, it's something to be grateful for, and there's blessings in every single day of your life. There's blessings in Simple little things like waking up in the morning, like be grateful, I'm up and I'm alive and that's great because that's one more day you have on earth to learn and, and to grow your spirit. Because if you try to tell me for one minute that this life on earth is all there is and there is not something so wonderful and so awesome, so magnificent outside of our realities as human beings, if you try to tell me that, oh, it's evolution and two planets crashed into each other and then all of a sudden there's just these people walking around, but they didn't start out as people. We evolved and I'm calling bullshit because I have seen way too much and experienced way too too many profound things in my life to believe that and that's okay if you believe that and, and it's totally okay if you think I'm crazy and you don't believe what I'm saying that's okay that's okay I just hope that even if a hundred people watch this video if there's one person that resonates with what I'm saying and takes the lessons I'm trying to teach good that that's a blessing and I'm and I'm grateful for that that's that's gratitude so um, even when we have the worst days you know you get up in the morning and you, you feel like shit and it's winter and it's snowing out and you just know that that bitch at work is gonna put you through hell and life is just not great Find the blessings in it. Try to open your eyes 
and look at it look at it from a different direction because first of all that bitch at work maybe she is going through some things that you can't even imagine going through maybe she's going through things that you've been through and maybe she's a little jealous of you or he he or she whoever it is but if you look at it in, in a much broader spectrum maybe that person is nasty to you because they're there to teach you a lesson that's all part of your growing as a spiritual being why not extend your hand extend it out with love and gratitude and say look I'm sorry that you're hurting or you know did I do something to upset you because I sure didn't mean to and I'm here if you need me just a thought because sometimes if we can put ourselves in other people's shoes we see how grateful we are to be walking in our own and as we all know but I think we don't realize often enough is that every single person on this earth is fighting a battle and, and, and our battles are not easy why why can't we as human beings why can't we think outside the box and try to extend ourselves even if it's to a stranger and, and smile like for instance yesterday I was at Walmart and Anyone that knows me knows that Walmart is the least place in the world that I want to be. I do not like to shop. I especially do not like um, anywhere where there's crowds. And I didn't used to be like that, but um, I am very empathic. And anybody else that, that's an empath can tell you when you get out in a crowd, um, being an empathic means that I can literally feel other people's emotions and thoughts and feelings even if it's a stranger so if there's people around me that are really anxious and really angry like I I feel that and and it I used to get really bad panic attacks and I could never figure out how come whenever I went to the store I, I knew that I was gonna have a panic attack and it was awful for a long time until I realized what it was and then I realized how to help myself get through that and that I'm going to be doing a video about that pretty soon too so those that suffer from anxiety and panic attacks keep watching because we're going to talk about that too but um, getting back to gratitude um, so I walk into Walmart and you know it's just one of those places where I think people really don't want to be in general and um, nobody's really happy to be there so everyone's crabby and walking around frowning and you know looking like they're mad or whatever face they have on but but I I I kept track just out of curiosity and out of 10 people that I walked past there was one lady that that did a half smile at me but it wasn't really a sincere one it was kind of just like yeah you know I'm just gonna smile because I just want you to stop looking at me but but here's the thing is when I go in these in these environments um, I will literally look at people and I will give them the biggest smile that that I can and not not to be mean or not to be fake or or not for any other reason than to just really try hard to brighten their day and sometimes it works and sometimes not but um, that's part of gratitude it really is it's like I'm trying everywhere I go I try to change my environment I try to just um, flip the script a little bit and raise everybody's vibrations up a little bit that are around me because why not why not you know and and I'm and I'm grateful um, that I have the ability to um, change people's moods like that I don't know how I do I just do but on the flip side of that you know when I'm upset other people you know tend to get upset too so I try extra hard to keep my vibrations up um, keep negative energy away from me and try to be good and positive and happy as often as I can even through the deepest darkest struggles that I've been through in my life and those that know me well know that it hasn't always been 
peaches and cream for me my whole life. I've been through some very horrific things. And I have taken the blessings from them. I've taken the lessons and um, I'm grateful for those things. If I hadn't have gone through um, some of the things I have, I would not be who I am today. I would not have the things I have today. I would not know the things I know and I wouldn't be able to bless other people with, with the lessons that I have to share. It's really made me be something completely different than, you know, if I hadn't gone through, I would not appreciate life and, and my friends and my family like I do. But with that said, that's all part of gratitude. And and to me, gratitude is just really being thankful. Just be thankful for everything and know that there is blessings in everything, even in your worst tragedies. And I know sometimes we... It's very often said, well, why would God hurt children? Or there can't be a God because he makes good people die or he makes bad things happen to good people. And rightfully so, I guess I can understand that. But that mentality is ignorant by lack of knowledge. And I'm not saying you're ignorant. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, there's an ignorance of, of, of it, um, meaning that people that have that mindset, they don't have their heart and their soul and their mind open. Because where when I was younger, I used to be the same way, and I used to say, well, you know, I don't understand why God keeps doing all this bad stuff to me. You know, I, I've been a good person, and, and the, you know, I've never done anything bad to anybody but for some reason now my life is shit and now I'm homeless because I lived with a man that abused me and I had to leave with the shirt on my back and my children and leave 13 years worth of things I worked hard for behind and start completely over and how could God do that to me how could that happen to me like I don't deserve that No, I was right. I didn't deserve it. Nobody does. But it was all a whole bunch of lessons that I needed to learn. It was life's lessons. And it made me so much stronger to pick myself up and to carry myself where I needed to go. And and unfortunately, my children, you know, they got hurt too. But there was lessons for them to learn too. It was all of our journey together. And looking at it at that point of view, rather than being defeated, is what me got me through and what got my children through. And now they're both grown adults, and I'm not saying that they don't feel sad still about, you know, a little bit about that happening. I mean, they lost every single toy they owned. They lost every single belonging to them that was, you know, important to them. However... We got out and we got out safe. And we were able to restart our life. Some women and children and men that are victims of abuse absolutely don't have that opportunity. So there's gratitude. I am so grateful that I had eyes to see what I saw. And I, and I did. So... You know, that's just a little bit of uh, my background, I guess. Um, I've worked with many women since then um, who are abused or going through abuse. And I've helped a lot of people get out of abusive relationships just by, you know, my own experience and helping them to see things that they didn't see, you know, and... Hopefully I helped them sooner than, you know, what I figured it out. But anyways, that's all part of gratitude. So with that said, I want you to think about what are you what are you grateful for? And and I don't want to hear I'm grateful for my home and I'm grateful No, 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 no. We know you're grateful for that. God knows you're grateful for that stuff, okay? But here's the thing. 
I want you to think about a life lesson that you went through. One of the real hard times, and it can even be um, the things that we, you know, we've been working on releasing your burden and forgiving yourself for mistakes the last week. So you can even think about that and heal this in a, in, a, in a different light. So whatever it is that is coming to your head is what is meant to be healed. Because if you close your mind and say, what do I need to heal? What experience did I go through that hurt me real bad and changed the course of my life? But geez, I'm real grateful that I went through that because now, looking back, I learned things that changed the course of history for me. So think about that. And I want you to close your eyes. Take your deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. One more into your nose and out through your mouth. Keeping your eyes closed, I want you to relax your head and your neck. Release any tension in your shoulders, in your waist. Release it all the way down to your knees. If you feel tightness in your thighs, or in your calves, or your feet, or your toes. I want you to release that now, too. I want you to think about that situation. And think about why are you grateful that that happened to you. Just take a few moments and think about why am I grateful for that? What lessons did you learn? What do you wish you would have learned sooner? Was there somebody in that situation that without them you maybe might not have made it through? Let's put them in our mind right now and let's think about how grateful we are. Let's give them some gratitude. Think about how much you love that person. Are they still in your life now? If they are, maybe when you're done meditating today, you'd like to just send them a message or give them a hug. Just let them know you love them. But for now, we're going to go into our journey for the morning. In today's journey, we're going to take a walk on a path again like we did the other day. Let's just walk on this path. And this path is a beautiful meadow. And with your eyes closed, you can picture this in your mind. This beautiful meadow, and it's full of the most beautiful wildflowers you've ever seen. And each one of the wildflowers is going to represent love or happiness or peace. But in amongst those wildflowers, there's the most brilliant purple ones. And these are the prettiest purple you've ever seen in your life, and they're taller than the other flowers. And these flowers represent gratitude and being grateful. So you're grateful for your joys and you're grateful for your lessons you've learned in your life. And we're definitely grateful for all the people we share our lives with. But how many of the purple flowers are you going to pick? Because we know in our mind that when we pick these flowers of gratitude, it's going to resonate. The energy of that flower, which is grateful, is going to go in 
to our bodies and our souls through our hands that they connect with. So, how many do you need? Some people may just pick one, and that might be all they need. Some people need a little bit more help feeling gratitude. So, they may pick two or three. And those people that are very, very sad and, and depressed or maybe have blocks blocking them from feeling completely grateful, they might have to pick a whole two handfuls. But however many you feel you need to pick, I want you to pick them. Picture yourself picking those flowers. And it's okay to pick them because your angels and your guides put them there for you, just for you. And you can have as many as you want, or as little as you want. It's up to you. So you pick your, your gratitude flowers, and you have them in your hand. Can you feel the energy of them? What does that energy feel like? Is it a buzzy energy? Is it a sharp energy? Is it strong? Or do you have to really try to feel it? What do you feel? Whatever it is that you're feeling is what you're meant to feel at this moment. So I want you to please just sit there in gratitude right now. Feel that feeling and really think about what are we grateful for. And thank our God our angels, our guides, our universe. And let's go ahead at this time and let's thank Mother Earth for the beautiful flowers. Because the more grateful we feel, the less negative we feel. And as we are pulling that gratitude into our body, into our mind, and into our soul, there's no more room for negativity. That negative energy has to go. There's no room for you anymore. You gotta go, buddy. Sorry. There ain't no room for you. So at this time, I want you to picture a beautiful white column coming down and attaching to the top of your head. We're going to let all the negativity that's within us Go out through the top of our head and we're going to watch it go into the light because we don't need it. We don't want it. We're going to replace it with gratitude, gratefulness, and thankfulness in our hearts, in our souls, in our minds, in our bodies. I want you to let that negative energy go up into the light. Just watch it. Go away. Goodbye. See ya. Don't need ya. And as that negative energy is, is leaving, now you can just feel your body fill with gratitude, with love, with comfort. Just let every cell of your body fill with love and gratitude. How does it feel? Does it feel wonderful? And as you're standing there and this gratitude, this gratefulness, this wonderful energy is filling your body and, and all of the cells in your body at this moment, is there somebody standing there next to you? Do you see anybody? It could be somebody that is in your family. It could be a friend. Maybe it's somebody that's passed over to the other side that you're grateful for. But if you see somebody, 
Maybe it's an angel. Maybe it's your guide. If there's somebody standing there in that meadow with you, welcome them. Hand them a flower and tell them how grateful you are for them. And that you are so very happy that they are on this journey with you. And you're so happy that they're helping you with your lessons. You just absolutely cannot imagine them not being there to support you. And you don't know what you ever did to deserve to be this lucky. Give that person or being a hug. Tell them how much you love them. At this time, as you're standing there and you're hugging your your person or your being that you're so very thankful for, all of a sudden, an angel comes down. And you're standing there looking at the most beautiful angel you've ever seen in your life. Like you've never seen an angel before, but it's got to be real because you see them and they're beautiful. This angel is beautiful, so full of love and, and white, beautiful, healing light. And the angel doesn't say anything to you, but you just know that that angel is your guardian angel, and that angel is grateful for you. You can feel that energy beaming off of this angel. This angel opens up its arms and it has a <laughs> tremendous, big, beautiful wings and it folds its wings around you and around the person you're grateful for and it wraps its wings around you. And at this point you are all one, you are all joined together and it feels great. You feel so loved and so important. You feel so much gratitude. The most gratitude you've ever felt in your life. Keeping your eyes closed. You let go and the angel looks at you and the angel winks. And even though it's not a communication with words, you know that that wink means I got you and I love you and you're good you're okay you're good and the angel flies off but even after the angel leaves you know that angel's still with me you turn around as you see your being or your person that you're most grateful for disappear into the meadow again. You turn around and you start heading back. You absolutely cannot believe this journey that you just had and how grateful you are that you were able to, to do this, to see this. You feel so much lighter because all that negative energy is just gone from your aura. It's not weighting you down. And you cannot wait to get back to tell everybody you love how much you love them, how thankful you are for them. You can't wait to hug your children if you have them. You can't wait to embrace somebody that's very special to you. This has been a marvelous, marvelous, marvelous morning. And now, when I get done with this meditation, I'm going to go through my day, and it's going to be a wonderful, beautiful day. So we're going to start coming back to our room. I want you to wiggle your toes. I want you to wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your fingers. Open your eyes.
I'm still here. <laughs> Welcome back. Now as you go through your day today, do not forget gratitude is a lifestyle. It is not something that we are thankful for. It is everything we are thankful for. God bless you. Have a great day. And I'm going to send you off with love and light. Until we meet again. <laughs>